in stream, they can still, still hear what's going on in the court. Okay. So please make sure the mic's well and the mic breaks with you until we get back on the record. Thank you. There's that other issue. Uh, in which one first? Sorry. Come on. Um, How are Nivy and Stevie doing with the loss of their brother? They're taking it really hard. They miss him like crazy. And they want him back. The 
this? Hawaii. Why is he dead? Why can't he be here? Why can't I hold him? I just want to tell him I love him. <laughs> he was a good big brother. bad dreams where they're screaming out for him they mumble in their sleep I don't understand what they're saying but I'll hear Mari Mari I want you At times, it seems like they understand, and then at times, it seems like they don't. I was asked one time by Nevi, can't we just unbury him? Can't they fix him? Nevi is seven today. And Stevie's four. Right. Pass the witness here. approach the witness, Your Honor.
So, Ms. Marquez, you yes. did, um, let me back up a little bit. You have been fostering Nevi and Stevie since about, is it February of 2014? Does that sound about right? How long have they been in your home? Um, February 23rd will be two years. So, about 14. About February of 2014? Yes. Okay. And since they've been in your home, you have been participating in um, therapy with Nevi, correct? Yes, ma'am. And the therapy that you've been doing has been, has consisted of individual therapy and then therapy with the kids, right? Yes. And the purpose for that is to, um, because they're so little, to make sure that um, the therapist is getting input from you as far as what's going on in the home, right? Not to just get input from me from the home, but um, stuff that is going on and stuff that needs to be dealt with, yes. Thank you. So other things that are, maybe the little kids can't communicate. Yes. You've heard it, so you're telling the therapist. Yes. And the reason for that is so that the therapist can um, make sure that Nevi in particular, and Stevie too, are getting appropriate treatment through the therapist, right? Yes. And that therapy has been ongoing since the kids have been in your home in February of 2014, right? Since before me. Okay. And it sort of continued with you when you became foster yes, parent. Okay. And when you were doing that therapy, obviously, some of the things that you were talking about is what happened to Omari, right? Yes, ma'am. And isn't it true that during a therapy session where you were present in this family therapy with Nevi, the therapist, and you on May 13th of 2014, that you explained to Nevi that her bio mother, Miss Cynthia Varela, and her father, Mr. Steve Casaus, would be in jail for a very long time or possibly forever for killing Omari. Isn't that true? We did tell her that they would be in jail for a really long time for the choices that they made and then hurting Omari. I didn't say killing Omari. Okay. So you did say that her parents, and that would include Mr. Casaus, because that's the dad she's always known, right? Yes. That her parents, including Mr. Casaus, would be in jail for a long time for harming Omari, right? Yes. Okay. But also on that same date, May of 2014, May 13th of 2014, um, you relate to the therapist that Nevi talks about her bio mother, Miss Varela, being mean to her, right? Yes. And also during that session, <coughs> Actually, let me take that back. During a session on June 17th of 2014, Nevi cried and said, why did my mom have to hurt Omari? Yes. During another uh, a session in October of 2014, the specific date was October 21st of 2014. Council, council, yes, sir. So, Ms. Marquez, you did tell Nevi that her parents, including Mr. Casaus, 
were going to be in, in jail or prison for a long time for the injuries or the harm they did to Omari, right? Yes, ma'am. Now, there was um, some testimony regarding these letters that you received from your sister while she was at MDC, right? Yes. And um, your sister wrote you or continues to write you. She uh, hasn't continued. Okay. But she had been writing you for a number of months at least Yes. when she was incarcerated, right? Yes. And in those letters, she would um, sort of tell you what was going on with her, right? Yes. Yes. She'd also ask you for money, right? Yes. And for people who are less familiar with how the system works at MDC, um, money at MDC is basically what's called commissary, right? Yes. And commissary is money on the books where you can have a phone card. Yes. Um, then there's snacks that come through, right? I believe so. Food. Yes. So you can buy stuff that's not what the jail provides, right? I believe so, yes. Okay. And commissary can be used to buy um, like headsets. I believe so. I don't know okay. what they can get. And basically, you gave your sister that money so that she could. Have I never commissary. gave her money. Okay, but she asked you for it. She asked me for money, but I never gave her money. Okay. And in those letters, where she's making these statements and asking for money, um, she's apologizing to you, right? Yes. And she is apologizing to her children, Nevi and Stevie, right? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to show you what's been previously marked as defendants' exhibits B, C, D, E, F, and G. Do you recognize, yes, those? I recognize them? All right. And what, what are those documents? Drawings that my niece Nivia drew. All right. And we're going to talk about them one at a time if I can figure out how to open this. Um, we'll talk about them one at a time, um, starting with B, Defendant's Exhibit B. Um, before I do that, Your Honor, um, I'm, I'd move to admit um, Defendant's Exhibits B through G, I believe it is. Same objection foundation. Yeah, I'd be fine with the more foundation. Sure. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, Judge. The more foundation. Sure, Judge. And so you said these were drawings that Nevi did, is that right? Yes. All right. And she did these drawings when you were present, correct? Yes. And you talked to her about those drawings? Yes, I do. And in fact, there's some, on at least some of those drawings, there's adult handwriting on them, right? Yes, ma'am. And that adult handwriting. Is mine. Is yours. Mm -hmm. And um, they look the same as they did when you saw them last, correct? Yes. Your Honor, at this time I'd move to admit defendants' exhibits B through G. Thank you. All right, let's talk about, about defendants' exhibit B. Um, I will publish them in a sec. I don't know how to turn this on. Thanks. So defendants' exhibit B. Um, when was that picture drawn? Last week. All right. And you were you said you were present for that drawing, right? Yes. I sat right next to her. You sat right next to her when she drew it? Yes. And her is Nevi, right? Yes. Your Honor, may I publish B? Actually, before I do that, let me just ask you a couple more questions. So you said this was drawn last week, right? Yes. Do you know what day last week? Uh, around Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday or Thursday. And before this picture was drawn, there was a meeting, wasn't there? 
or a play date. Yes. And this play date was a um, an event or a thing that happened, a visit that happened at the DA's office, right? Yes, a visit with the DA's. Okay. And when you say the DA's, who are you talking about specifically? Nick Marshall. Okay. And you've had a couple of these play dates at the district attorney's office before with Nevi, right? Yes, ma'am, to get her comfortable with Nick. Okay. But the most recent one was either Wednesday or Thursday just of last week. Yes. All right. And um, let me get the exact date of that. And um, this play date, what is it? What do you guys do there? Uh, Nevi plays with the toys that they have in the toy room, and they just ask her questions about her day, how things are going, how is she doing, and they just interact with her. Okay. And by they, you're talking about Mr. Marshall, and then Maria. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. And then there's a set a second part of that meeting, right? Sometimes. Yes. And as of last week. August 27th, this visit last week, August 27th or 28th, there was this other meeting where Nevi went in and talked to Mr. Marshall alone, right? I'm sorry, Judge. I'm sorry. So there was a, after this meeting where they played with toys and got comfortable, there was a sort of subsequent meeting where Nevi met with Mr. Marshall alone, right? Yes. And you were not there for that meeting? No, ma'am. And after that meeting with Mr. Marshall, that you were not present for, Nevi created a drawing, right? Not immediately after, it was later that evening. It was the same day? Yes. All right. And that is what's been marked as Defendant's Exhibit B, correct? Okay. Yes. <coughs> and so this drawing, those words on there, I am mad at you, mom and dad? Yes. That's Nevi's writing? Yes, it is. Okay. And this was created August 27th or 28th last week? Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you. Okay. Now I'm going to show what's been marked as Defendant's Exhibit F, which there we go. Now, when was this drawing created? I don't know the exact date. Okay, it was it done. It was before this last picture. Though. Okay, so it was sometime in 2015 or yes, 2015 right. of this year. And in this photo. Or in this drawing, there's some words on there, and yes. it says, and there's a, I'm going to point to it right here, this says, Nevi, is that right? Yes. And this here says, Mom? Yes. And this here says, Omari on the floor? Yes. Crying? Yes, ma'am. Because Mom punched him too? Is yes. that what that says? Okay. And um, Mr. Casals isn't in that drawing, is he? No, ma'am. And you wrote those words because that's what Nevi was telling you the that's picture. That's what Nevi told me was going on in the picture. Okay. And I'm showing you what's been marked as Defendant's Exhibit D. Same thing. Um, Looks like you wrote it sort of upside down there as far as your words, but yeah, that's okay. She was on the other side of the table. All right, so you talked to Nevi about this picture as well? Yes, we talked about every picture she drew. Right. And in here you wrote this pic this drawing right here, this figure here, Nevi? Yes, ma'am. And next to Nevi it says mom punching? Yes, ma'am. And then over here there's like a, a child with tears? Yes. And it says Omari crying? Yes. Up here it says, 
I am mad. Mom is so mean. Yes. I'm sad. Yes. Mr. Casals is not in that drawing. Yes, ma'am. Showing you Defendant's Exhibit E. Same thing, we've got the sort of the adult writing on there. Yes. And this says, this little little girl in a purple dress, it says Nevi. Yes, ma'am. And Punch. Yes. It looks like there's a fist punching Nevi and she's got a frowny face. Yes. And then there's a larger figure, and that says Mom. Yes, ma'am. Who has a smiley face. Yes, ma'am. And on the other hand, it says Punch. And next to that fist, it says Omari with yes. another drawing, right? Yes. Right. And then there's another figure over here, and it says Snowman, and then Mom messed up. Right. She was saying that Mom messed up her snowman. Is there any anything in here that depicts Mr. Casals? Snowman. Right. And this one actually has a date in it. You wrote the date on here as January 5th of 2014? Yes, ma'am. And above that, there's um, writing in crayon, and then you're writing underneath it. Yes, ma'am. And it says, I'm mad at what you did. Yes. She's talking about her mom. Yes. So... Other than the one drawing, Defendant's Exhibit B, which was the drawing that was done Wednesday or Thursday of last week, there are no other drawings that Nevi did depicting Mr. Casals kicking Omari, correct? No, ma'am, because she's too scared. Okay. So there are no drawings of Omari being kicked by Mr. Casals, is that correct? There's one drawing of of Steve kicking Omar. Other than this one that we just no, talked about? just the one that we talked okay. about. Okay, which was drawn last week Yes. after this play date with the DA, right? Yes. After there was this meeting between the DA and Nevi that you didn't hear what was discussed. Yes, ma'am. Okay. May I have a moment, Your Honor? On cross-examination, um, defense uh, had some photos drawn by Nibby. Yes. And in them, they, they seemed to indicate that it was a very chaotic and abusive household yes. at, at that home. Yes. There were times that you were called to go pick up the children because of what was happening in that home. Yes. And did that happen more than once? Yes. And who would call? My sister, Cynthia. Also on cross-examination, defense asked you a few questions about the time in, I believe it was May of 2014, were you told the children um, about their parents? Yes. And why did you tell them that? Because they're scared. They're scared they're gonna come get them and take them back. So to make 
her feel safe and have some sort of security. I told them that they're in jail and they may stay there for a really long time because of their choice and what they did to mom. I'd like to go back through a few of the uh, exhibits that were um, admitted on, during the defense examination. And I want to just go back first to um, Exhibit F. And may I publish these exhibits, Your Honor? On this one, though, uh, I wanted to, to ask, what was, what was the statement that is kind of going along the right edge of that paper? It says Mari on the floor crying because mom punched him and I didn't finish it and it was too hard. Okay. And this was another drawing that um, I believe was, uh, or that was admitted and um, I don't think it was published. It's exi Defense Exhibit C. Can you describe this drawing, and I may need to switch this camera. Make sure I have the, uh, the lower. Are you trying to minimize it? I, I was going to try to rotate the camera to turn it, but I may be able just to zoom out. You just have to turn the, turn the document. So you're trying to rotate it. Is that what you're trying to do? I was trying to rotate it, but so that it would show up the correct way. I'm not sure how to change the aspect. that's as far as it's going out. Um, well, I'll just have to kind of move it around on the, on the board. I'm sorry. Uh, but do you recognize this drawing as well? Yes. And um, what does it say at the top? It says, I'm mad at you, Daddy, because you're mean. And then? And then she drew herself and her dad. And she just kept tying me. Why did she draw this or make this drawing? She was thinking about dad that day. And she told me Objection, hearsay. Not specifically listed on the record. Your Honor, may we approach? And, so, and on this drawing, uh, who were the individuals depicted in it? Nivia and Esteban, her dad. And uh, what was the context behind this drawing? Just that she kept, why did he have to be mean? She had to get it out. And drawing is one way she does it. And I'd like to show another drawing that had been admitted but was not published um, by the defense. And this is labeled as uh, Exhibit G. Do you recognize this one as well? Yes, sir. Um, what's in this one? She drew herself, mom and dad. And, um, what did she write at the top? She put that she was sad and that she was mad. And then there's some writing at the bottom. And what's that writing? I asked her what's going on in your picture. She put She put that I'm that she was crying because mom was punching 
her heart and that daddy was laughing. And Miss Marquez, do you remember the, what the context was behind this drawing? Again, she was thinking of both of them. And she was so mad and so sad. And she had to get it out. And it's all over the place. Her drawings, they're never like, I never know what's going to come up. I'll show you what was marked as um, Exhibit B, and I believe this was shown, but I'd, I'd like you to explain this one as well. What is what is depicted in, in this drawing? She has herself, Mom, Dad, and Amari. And she started off, she drew herself, and then she drew Amari. And then she wrote, I am mad at mom and dad. And then she continued to draw. The next character she drew was mom. And she had a really hard time drawing mom. Took a break, cried, then drew dad. Still really hard time. Took a break, cried. And I told her, and she's just, why, auntie? Why? I'm so mad. And I told her, show me mad. Show me how mad you are. So she got her pencil. She just scribbled. And I let her just scribble and scribble and it, until she stopped. And I was like, that's your mad? Oh, yeah. And I told her, is there anything else, baby, that you need to put on here? And she drew the faces. So I asked her, what are the faces? And she's all sad, mad, happy. But I'm not happy right now. <laughs> and I told her, can you tell me about your drawing and your picture and what's going on? <laughs> and she cried through it. <laughs> she thought mommy was kicking me. Daddy was kicking in the stomach. <laughs> and then she grieved and started calling out for her brother and asking why. Why did they have to be mean to him? He was good. Sorry for your loss. No further questions. <laughs> Sounds
again, let's present this case in terms of